Hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto. Coming back at you with another crypto price update and I actually just bought more Bitcoin and Ethereum for specifically the reason I'll explain inside this video. So unfortunately, the account of Bybit that you're watching right now actually does not have any more money in it so I cannot show you guys a buy live or any new added money to my positions these positions are gradually decreasing because you know there's some cost to having these things open but on my own main account i actually just bought some extra bitcoin ethereum and of course xrp primarily because the market crashed quite significantly and i think it's right now a very good decision to layer my buys and start stacking up severely so why I just bought is because we right now hit the 0.382 Fibonacci level at about 62,000. I've actually been layering my buys piece by piece already to make sure I don't put in too much in one separate level. I still have a couple of buys open, one of them being just above the 0.236, even though that is one of the lesser important levels. This right here, $62,000 was the most important level for Bitcoin, if you ask me. And luckily, we found some support there with my buy being just above it. Now, I actually think that this is the best scenario, basically, for all the futures buyers. So for people who are using Bybit, by the way, right now, there's $3,500 worth of bonuses over on Bybit. If you are a spot buyer, man, I think on a couple of different exchanges, you could have gotten yourself some very, very cheap Bitcoin. In one of the videos I made on a different channel, DustyBC, a lot of you guys were saying that this was a glitch. Well, as far as I now know, it's, 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 some people said they actually got to buy here. And here it says in an email to Insider, the company said one of our institutional traders indicated to us that they had a bug in their trading algorithm, which appears to have caused the sell off. We are continuing to look into this event, but understand from the trader that they have now fixed their bug and that the issue appears to have been resolved with most likely them losing quite a lot of money as I believe there were just a couple of really, really big market orders set in place um, to basically take it all up, you know, just sell all the crypto, sell all their crypto for some really, really cheap prices, take all the dollars away, but ultimately it's it's a temporary thing the market really resolves quite quickly from that type of stuff we also obviously saw elon musk tweet a couple of things being bullish about bitcoin and ethereum but guys generally speaking here i'm just so bullish on bitcoin again we found some major major support at this area this is just an area that i've been shouting for the longest time that i'd like to buy bitcoin at if we uh, actually do pop up i actually expected us to hit about 67.8 thousand dollars or so we we're a couple hundred bucks shy about 800 700 bucks shy uh, which is, I guess, unfortunate because I would have actually sold a little bit of my position had we gotten there. But then again, because we did hit an all-time high and a spike afterwards, everything has basically been confirmed for me. This retracement, this pullback is not too crazy in any way, shape, or form. So again, I'm just buying because I know what is about to happen. On the Cardano pair, we had a little bit of a fake out. And obviously, this is because of what happened to Bitcoin. Had Bitcoin not come back down, Cardano would have most likely started to just spike up and go crazy. But most altcoins fell today. And to talk about XRP, it's kind of funny, XRP to Bitcoin actually just witnessed a, I believe here, death cross on the one day time frame. Yes, there's a death cross happening just now because the longer term prices are doing better than the shorter term prices. So that's kind of interesting. I guess you can actually really honestly say that it means absolutely nothing. Because at the time when we saw a golden cross, it was literally the best time. And afterwards, you literally would have lost money every single day up to this death cross had you bought it so a death cross really means nothing if you ask me but again what it does showcase is that right now bitcoin is performing relatively better than xrp and that's something that i can stand behind because i do believe that right now we should be buying bitcoin not go too crazy on the altcoins which is also why i'm being a little bit more cool and lenient towards xrp right now i'm saying hey take a little, a little bit chill we're finding some major resistance at one dollar seven which we've come back to for for weeks now and I'll buy every single time we get to that area, but small little chunks. Bitcoin is the main guy for right now. My longs are primarily Bitcoin right now and a little bit of Ethereum, mostly because of the fact that Ethereum had a really big push. It has to go back to all-time high within the next couple of days, there's no question about it. And because of the huge correction that they also faced right now, 
Ethereum is, in my opinion, still a good buy to go for right now. I'm going long on so many different coins. It's crazy. There's so much of a money inside of this, but that's because I do believe we're going to see some crazier price flashes and pumps and whatnot over the next couple of days. And this might have been a little bit of a bender for some of y'all. Might have crashed your stop loss. It's unfortunate. But over on Bybit, I think we were protected because I'm still in my positions and the coins didn't really crash that much. So I'm using this, I'm sticking to it, and I'm enjoying it. But yes, guys, I am just now buying extra, extra, extra while we are this low. However, I am not finishing all my money because if we do correct further, which again is not really on the agenda, but what if, right? I need to be prepared. I need to be able to buy further. My next one price for Bitcoin is about $1,000 lower, but that's a small buy. That's a small buy right here above the 0 0.236. My next bigger buy is going to be right above here at about 59,000. And I'm going to be layering, but I think we'll have enough time to discuss this um, once we kind of see the price roll out a little bit further. And I'll just make an emergency update if some push comes to shove.